display my dear students in this short video i am going to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions uh, and that is related to the slope of the air force strike around the open area in the icons for example for this case we we have slope of shear force diagram should be increasing in this direction. Now, a lot of students are not clear about this, that how the slope is increasing slope, or how in some other cases we consider the decreasing slope. So for that, let me explain that how we, uh, what type of slope is increasing and what type of slope is decreasing. For example, we have two points. One point is here and the other point is here. And we want to join these two points with uh, increasing slope, let's say. So, I'm saying that this is increasing slope. Now, how this is increasing slope? At this point, how do we determine slope at any given point? At this point, if I want to determine slope, I need to draw the tangent at this point. And the angle uh, which that tangent makes that uh, with the horizontal, we further take the tangent of that angle. In this case, the angle of this tangent that I have drawn with respect to horizontal is zero degree. So the slope of the curve at this point is zero. Now, what if I want to determine the slope of this curve at this point? Let's say. For that, I will draw a tangent at this point. And how to determine its slope? I will take angle of this point with respect to horizontal and let's say this angle is theta 1. So I will take uh, there's a tangent of this angle uh, and that will give me the slope of this curve at this point. Now the slope of the curve at this point was 0 and slope of the curve at this point is larger than 0. It means that this is a curve with increasing slope. Okay. Now, if I want to join the same two points, this point and this point with decreasing slope, how would that be? It will be somewhat like this. And how this is decreasing slope? Let's say I want to determine the slope of uh, this curve at this point. For that, I will draw a tangent here. And this tangent has a slope, let's say theta 1. And let's say I want to draw, uh, determine the slope of the curve supposedly at this point. For that, I will draw a tangent at this point, like this. And how much is the slope of this tangent? This is theta 2. So if we compare this theta 1 with this theta 2, Theta 1 is larger and theta 2 is smaller. So the slope of the tangent at this uh, slope of the curve at this point is larger and at this point it is smaller and it is continuously decreasing. So this is the curve like curve number 2. If I call this as curve number 1. So curve number 1 is a curve with increasing slope, and curve number 2 is a curve with decreasing slope. And curve number two is also referred as a curve that can cave up, and curve number two is a curve that uh, convex up. So this is how we determine uh, the slope of uh, the curves. And in this case, we were joining a point uh, uh, with lower magnitude. The point with lower magnitude is on the left side, and the point on uh, with higher magnitude is on the right side. In some of the cases, we have opposite case. For example, we have one point here and another point here. Now, again, we want to join these two points with increasing slope and with decreasing slope. Let's say I join, it. I join these two points in this way. So whether this is uh, with increasing slope or decreasing slope, at this point, if I want to determine the slope of the curve, I will draw a tangent here. And this tangent is, is almost horizontal, so it's making either zero or very small angle with horizontal. What about the tangent drawn here? At 
this point. It has significantly larger angle with respect to horizontal. So slope of the curve at this point is much higher than the slope of the curve at this point. So it means that this is the curve with increasing slope. Okay. And similarly, if we have two points, Again, let's say, and we want to join them uh, with a curve of decreasing slope. How would we join them? Okay, join this at this point. So let's say it's here. Uh, so, how much is the slope of the curve at this point? We draw a tangent at this point, and we have this theta, let's say theta 1. And how much is the slope at this point? If I draw a tangent to the curve at this point and I measure its angle with respect to horizontal, and I call this angle as theta 2. So you can see that theta 1 is significantly larger than theta 2. It means that the slope of the tangent at this point is larger and at this point is smaller. So this is a curve with decreasing slope. So there, there are uh, only four possibilities. Uh, when the point on the left side is lower and the point on the right side is higher, then these are the two possibilities. If you want to join these two points with an increasing slope, then curve number one is the right option. If you want to join these two points with decreasing slope, then curve number two is the right option. And this is curve number three. In curve number three, we have point on the left side is at the higher elevation or higher ordinate and the point on the right side has lower ordinate and in this case if we join points this way this is increasing slope case and this is the fourth case in which we have a point on the left side with uh, higher ordinate vertical coordinate and the point on the right side has lower value and if you want to join these two points with decreasing slope, this will be the uh, right option, option number four. Okay, I hope this is clear now. Thank you very much.